This is the Norris 49 mini hatchet. I've reground the edge of as noted previously. Done a little bit of work here, getting some small limbs for a base for a fire. This is a nice area. Got some deadfall, some slight stuff, some heavier stuff back there in the woods. A lot of scrub brush. A nice little fork. Back in there is I can use a base to lay the trees on. A couple of things I've noticed right away on really heavy ingrowth, like on that tree where the branches are all really tight together. The little hatch is nice for getting in there and just taking off all the branches one by one. Something like the hoodlum doesn't have enough mass and heft to really cut through a lot of these branches at the same time. So it tends to get sort of bound up. It's not very effective for working in there. Now a much larger bait like the cold streel kukri machete will just cleave all these small branches off in one big swipe, of course. The other thing I've noticed about the axe is it's very forward heavy, as you would expect as an axe. And when you're holding it up tight, by a full grip on the handle, it's sort of a bit aggravating or irritating because it's always sort of wanting to fall out of your hand. It's always putting a big torque on her. So I tend to actually be carrying it like this because it fits naturally, it rides naturally in my hand. Where it's up like this, it's tending to want to rotate out more. And this keeps the full base of the blade right in the center of my hand. Now this also gives it a lot more power when it's swinging. And this is essentially the effective grip that I'm working with now that seems to be working fairly well. And it's easily able to compete with the hoodlum on uh, this kind of work. When again, it favors the really tight ingrowth like that. There's a little fire going, cleaning up the lighter scrub. It's raining heavily the last few days and the temperature was hovering around zero so everything is covered in ice. Even a relatively thick deadfall, three to five inches, is saturated all the way through. So in order to get dry wood you got to find something a lot bigger and get to the middle of it. All I did to get this going was get some relatively thick spark, uh, bruce bark that was loaded down with resin. And that'll burn like a candle between 5 and 10 minutes, so that's enough to get some small sticks thawed out, dried out, and then just work your way up. So I got a little stack of wood, cut with these two tools. The hoodlum, I'm basically using a three-fingered grip continuously now. Uh, it just is way too light and neutrally balanced to use with a full grip up around the index finger cutout. It really is fairly limited when you're using it like that. So I think what I'm going to do is get a, a wood handle made for it that has an extended grip so that I can use it with a full grip around the end of the handle. The little mini hatchet works really well in tight situations. Cutting down most of this deadfall, which is in sort of really closed in areas, it's much shorter because of the bit, so you can use a much smaller and much tighter swing where it's awkward to get in there with the hoodlum. So for example, if you look at this area here, there's a lot of scrub, a lot of it's overlapping on top of each other, and the hoodlum gets bound up here. Unlike a larger blade like the cold steel kukri machete, which I've been using a lot lately, that'll power right through that. It'll cut whatever it's in its way, nice smooth swings, but the hoodlum can't. It doesn't have the mass, it doesn't have the heft, so you're trying to work around piece by piece and it gets tangled up. So what you need is either a longer, heavier blade to cut through all of it, or the axe works fairly well and then can pop down the little pieces of uh, deadfall, like that little piece right there. Stack that away while it's clearing all that. So a little axe is kind of a nice little useful tool. It's obviously not going to replace something like the Brock's Wildlife, which will do all the same things. You can just choke up on the half of that. But again, that little axe is $20, and with a half hour with a file, you can put a really nice edge on it. And again, all I did, as I noted in the other video, was I completely flattened this edge. So this originally had a very thick edge out here, around 30 degrees per side, with a primary hollow grind. I just flattened that to around 10 to 11 degrees per side, and then slightly increased the apex angle out here to give it a bit more strength, because I work on a lot of harder woods. But if you're only working on, you know, pine and alder and uh, open birch, stuff like that, you wouldn't even need the heavier secondary bevel. One quick note of interest. Here's the bottom of the sheath of the hoodlum. You can see the knife is actually coming out through the drainage hole on the bottom. That's because it's cord wrapped. And it's sinking too far down into the insert. So I'm assuming the handle scales prevent it from going all the way down. It's not overly nice. This is the other knife. 
It's a custom forged bush knife from Andrew to catch. I've cleaned up some more wood with it, done some limbing. It's working really nicely. This is significantly heavier than the hoodlum, which gives it a lot more power. But the nice thing about it is very versatile grip wise. So I can take this knife very up front like this. It's almost neutrally balanced when I'm holding it like this. I can do very, very light cuts just to take off small branches. No problem. But then, I can go much further back on the handle. Now all of a sudden the effect of blade length is dramatically increased, power, heft, it's gone dramatically up. So this is working out quite nicely for the small amount of work I've done with it. Not 100% sold on the grip, it's kind of squarish as you can see. Now I'm not going to round it off right away because one of the problems I've had with grips that are fully nice and rounded is when they get wet they can be difficult to hold on to. Because this is almost rectangular, it prints very heavily in the hand and won't rotate at all like this. So while I am getting a bit more pressure on these areas right here, because they're not fully rounded off, so these are sort of acting as corners, it feels very stable in hand. I don't have any issues with this rotating around. So I'm going to use it for a while and basically see um, is the little tiny bit of pressure that I can feel here worth the enhanced security and I may round it off a bit in the future but I don't think I'll end up fully rounding it off and I think I might texture this grip a little bit because it's a bit too smooth for my liking now but um, overall this is proving to be a very nice useful knife for this type of work collecting off that you can see I've cleared off that area in there clean all that up a little brush fire is going in the background there cleaned up some of this area here so not a lot of work done with this so far. I mean only about, you know, an hour or so just clearing up some brush. But still, very nice. 